Stephen A, should the number one pick be a lock? Absolutely. For the Phoenix Suns, absolutely. DeAndre Ayton is going to be the number one overall pick. I understand that Stephen A. Smith gets paid millions of dollars to talk about sports on TV and he is entitled to his own opinion, but I do not accept the amount of unjustified disrespect that he and the American media have for European basketball players. I can't teach. I don't give a damn about how this kid in Europe looks. I understand he's a 6'8 point guard. He's surreal. He'll probably be the number two overall pick. Oh, I haven't seen much of Donkic other than the video that, you know, that, that, that we've all seen. He won the European Championship with Slovenia for the first ever time in the country's history, a country that has a population of only 2 million. He was in the tournament starting 5, EuroLeague MVP, Final 4 MVP, Rising Star Award, EuroLeague Champion with Real Madrid, as well as ACB champion in the Spanish League, as well as MVP awards in the Spanish League. This kid has been doing amazing things all his life. He moved from Slovenia to Spain at age 13 to join the, their academy. He made his debut for the first team of one of the biggest teams in Europe, age 16. He's a kid that lived up to the hype. He's been playing with grown men for the past three years in the second best league in the world. He can play anything from a one to a three and is very versatile. Can shoot, he can, has amazing court vision, passes the ball great, is very good on defense and a good ball dribbler and wants the ball in his hands at the end of games. He's a born winner. None of the current top European players have ever done anything close to what Doncic is doing in Europe right now. Giannis played in the second division of the Greek League. Jokic played for an average team in the Abba League. Kristaps Porzingis was not a great player in Europe. And a lot of top European talent in the league did not play in the Euro League. The only reason why he isn't getting the praise he deserves in the US is because there is a bias towards European players. Many of these American TV people have never seen Luca play but they keep saying he's not good enough. Charles Barkley did not even have him as a top five player in the draft quality wise. Luka Doncic! A lot of people don't like Luka Doncic because he is not an American player, because he plays in Europe. What is holding teams back? Is there, in terms of drafting him number one or towards the top of the draft, is there a sort of foreign-born player bias in the NBA? You know, you think in 2018 we'd be past that, but <laughs> there still is a little bit of stereotyping and hesitation and the fear of drafting a European bust is greater, I think, than the fear of drafting an American bust. And we all remember what happened the last time Stephen A. Smith underestimated a top European talent. New York Knicks select Kristaps Porzingis from Leopaya, Latvia. He last played for Sevilla. New York Knicks fans were at the Barclays Center booing because we recognize that we have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. We shouldn't expect to see much from Porzingis until two or three years down the road. Passed on all of that for some dude none of us have never seen. And then to top that off, you turn around and you tell us that this brother may remind us of Sean Bradley? Really? It just ruined the, the, the little bit, the little bit of faith that Porzingis might add up to something. Do you see a highly skilled big man, Mr. Smith, and Porzingis? Let me be fair. Let me be very clear. He's got some skills. He's a Europe. He looks athletic and mobile. Didn't look bad in summer league. Didn't look that great to me. Did the Knicks build around Porzingis? Hell no. He was perceived as being a project that would be ready to produce in three plus years. I got to admit, I'm stunned. He deserves it. I like the promise. Phil Jackson looks like he did well with mm -hmm. this pick. I like Porzingis a lot. You're talking about somebody that was very suspect about Porzingis being picked fourth overall in the 2015 NBA draft because only because I had I'd never seen him play. At the end of things, nobody really knows how good Luka Doncic will be. Only time will tell. And we'll see who's going to have the last laugh.